Next is part, next pair. Welcome back to the Olympia Halla in Munich as we prepare for Christine Huff and Doug Ladre. The most gripping story of the Nationals was how Christine lived up to her nickname, Tuffy. They suffered that horrendous fall early in their long program, regrouped, placed second. They're here, and really the door's open for them to move into the top three, Barb. The door is wide open, and this is one of my personal favorites. Let's see how it goes. majority of the top skaters here are doing double axles in this short program, which is a considerably more difficult element than the double axles they just tried. tell this program has got a slightly different humor to it it's, a, it's something different that's nobody else here has tried and it's going to be interesting to see if the judges appreciate the little bit of humor that they've tried to inject in this short program on their faces throughout this program you can't help but warm up to this team they go out there and attempt to have a really good time obviously doing it that's something that they truly love to do and that's skate well up. i love the program but i just think that they're going to be pretty disappointed um, with with the marks there has to be a deduction for the missed element well there's a sea of red here cheering them on that's for sure 21 year old christine huff and 29 year old doug ladre here in the replay, we can see that Christine really didn't get a nice setup into that jump. She obviously felt rushed and tried to do it sooner than she probably would have liked. Now the question, how much will the judges punish them for that? Well, it's been an interesting evening in, in that department, Chris, because we've seen some errors that we thought might have received bigger deductions than actually happened, and it, it'll be up to the judges to decide. Their best finish at the World Championships was last year in Halifax when they finished sixth. They didn't qualify for Worlds the year before, and Doug said he did a slow burn watching the World Championships on TV from Paris. There's nothing like missing out on a World Championship than to get, some, to get you really going and want you to get out there and train harder so that you make that team next year and the opportunity to skate at a World Championships. You can see the disappoint disappointment on Christine's face. It obviously wasn't the program that they hoped for, but I'm hoping that some marks are going to come up that are going to at least keep them in the hunt for the long program. Mm -hmm. Kept going through the rest of it. Yeah, it was fun. That's their coach and Christine's stepfather, Kerry Leach. The leaders, uh, Isabel Brasseur and Lloyd Eisler. Five, five, and here are the first set of marks for 
Up in Ladre, and they are disappointing. The check judge 4-5, 4-7, 4, seven, four seven. And as you can see, those marks those for the required elements are quite low. They're very low. Let's hope that uh, the next set of marks are much higher. This set of marks is considerably higher, Chris, and you have to remember that in the short program, one cannot afford to miss an element, or you end up getting a set of marks that we've just seen for Christina Dug in the technical end of the marking. Quite, quite a discre discrepancy. We've got a 5-7 for the British judge at 3 5 zeros. For Huff and Ladre, they will be ninth, and that's behind their teammates.